Hi, well I, re I mentioned this on the Q&A this morning, I had a late start today. It's Friday afternoon and sometimes jobs drop off on a Friday afternoon. I could find myself doing a 200 mile round trip and like seven hours work for time and 80 quid. And then I thought I could make it round the roundabout. I was wrong. Could be worse. It's building material. Still waiting. Been here nearly an hour now. Bit of a slight concern. He's going in there now. And to be honest with you, I've been trying to solve another problem. So if it exists in birds, why can't it also exist in like dogs or monkeys or people? All I know is that my mate Cole, or the, or, or the lovely people at Smithy's, have said, come and get your eight ton. Very nice. Why are they called roadworks? So one of the lanes is shut. We're running at half capacity, and they're called I mean, devoid of the fact that no one ever works in road works, wouldn't they be better named road doesn't work? Or road doesn't work? If it doesn't. Monday's job has come in, and um, they ring me. Sometimes this happens when you've been doing it a little while, people will actually ring you and go, are you free? Particularly if they know if it's a bit of a sensitive one, and it's prison. No. I'm, I'm, I'm getting pretty au fait with prisons. We've been talking about it a lot recently. Uh, they offer me two. There's one going down, there's Ford in Arundel, or there's um, another one, which is what an underage, I can't remember what that one's called. I've given the choice of two. I went to Watton because I think I've got more chance of getting out of Gloucester than I have of getting out of um, Arundel because I've been seen. And Gloucester, I kind of can maybe grab Bristol, I could maybe move over to Wales, I could maybe pick something that actually went back towards kind of Oxford, Reading, that kind of way. Also, I mean, I've got the rucksack. Right Last time I did Gloucester, I got um, Hatfield to Gloucester. You start raving early, that's the only thing. I mean, I'll be up at half three. So, up at half three, leave the yard at four, get into Booker's for about five. If you go any later, Say for example, I get the bookers that are half five, loaded by half six, into 25 and seven. Sit on the end 25 for three hours, there you go, like, you know? So it makes sense for me to get up early and get it done. Although I'd really rather not get up at half past three in the morning, but money's money. Um, so that's coming. So that means that this one today will probably, will be a short one. It's not, because the, the original plan was get this unloaded and then get something on board for um, for Monday morning, well that's not happening now because Monday morning's booked, so I will be dropping. Also, bear in mind the amount that I've got on board, all this insulation and pallets and all that, it's got to be a site. I reckon when we get there, it's going to be a bungalow or a house or a build or something like that. So that does kind of negate the possibility that I'm going to be dragging, even if I am fairness, even if I did those pallets, of the tubs on board, they ain't gonna weigh a ton. Those paddocks are gonna weigh, oh, I don't know, four, five hundred kilos, and that's much easier to move. So, but we'll see when we get there. But I say, I'm due to get there at Hatfield now. At, um, I, uh, I am due to get to Hatfield and just to show you. There we go. We're gonna be there 40 minutes, quarter past one. Uh, so we get it off by quarter past two, back home by quarter past three, gives me a jump on a weekend. I'm going to get on that computer. I've done a lot of stuff this morning because I did it before I started this job, so I might actually get a weekend. That'd be nice. Waze has corrected itself. It used to have this thing, you know, obviously, that, that it does a very good job, because obviously the, the, the voice somehow must read out um, what the actual address say, what the actual address says. But back in the day, it used to tell me I was going to Wofford. 
It couldn't do Watford. It was going, you are now 2.3 miles away from Watford. And my favourite one was always, because St Albans came up as ST Albans, it's take the third exit at the roundabout towards Street Albans. <laughs> Why is this to make me smile? Says St Albans now. I find the old one. Of course, the other thing about delivering to residential addresses, which is a pain, you know, back in the day to the Argos, it's, um, particularly now in a truck, I had to pick up a, the family do that thing. Dad, Dad, the one thing on eBay, Dad. Uh, I mean, look at our Facebook marketplace. Any chance you can pick up a table when you go, yeah, and then you realise that they, they, they want you to pick it up from sort of some housing estate in Hamilton Hempstead, which can be fine and sometimes cannot, because a lot of these places are very, very tight. They were tight in the loop, and they're even tighter than 18 ton. We still manage to do it, though, you know? It's just sometimes a bit painful. So the thing about, this is where Waze features over Road Lords, because we've got a thing going on here. Now, Road Lords, you can't see what's going over here, but Waze will do this. And that will tell you, it gives you a breakdown of all the roads on the way down it. So I can tell by looking at that, A Road, A Road, A Road, A Road, A Road, B Road, it's because they road, but it's not country lane, and there's the house. So access should be okay. It just depends what it's going to be like when we get there. Right, we're nearly there now. Um, if I remember correctly from my Argos days, because we used to do welling, and welling, hitching, Royston, that kind of way, like, you know, at this roundabout, after down here, it gets a little bit tricky. Fortunately, I have got half a mile to go, so half a mile isn't the end of the world, is it now? So, um, it remains to be seen, is it going to be a bungalow with a, uh, a sort of pebbly driveway, or is it going to be a building site, or is it going to be a swimming pool? You never know in this game, you think you know, you think you know where you're going, I haven't got a clue. Which is lucky for me because it's how I spent most of my life, so I'm kind of getting used to it. Right, 0.4 miles, two minutes. It's coming up here on the right anytime now. Right, yep, yeah, that's it. So we're just going to um, reverse it in there now. And it stuns, but then we might have to handball it. Uh, either, either way, I oh, don't think it's going to take too long. We have to wait for it to get out of the way now. Dumby, 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 dum. You have to own the road at this point. Now wait for the man to come on, come on, come on. And then once he's gone, well, they've gone, she's gone, they've gone. We go right in the middle. That's it. Gosh, now you're all just left away. Remember what I told you? You get the tail past. Otherwise it won't spin in. I'm going to put in W, because I'm without that. I'm going to have to go further than that. Thank you, sir. That's usually, of course, there's absolutely no one around to shut. Oh, hang on. They move the move the transit back a bit. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Very nice. Right, I'm off the road. Right, let's get it off.
I'm one of that YouTube, you know, one of that mob, you know. Whew. That's some of them are heavy. The old, uh, them old white containers. Though if you saw me on the video only carrying one, it's because there was only one left. I wasn't showing you. Right, that's me done. Um, I haven't closed the job down yet. I've got to ring them and talk to them about waiting time. Um, I ain't going to be greedy. Half an hour is all I'm asking for. They'll pay it or they won't. I tend to be philosophical about these things, which is, uh, if I don't pay it, uh, it's still a decent day's wages. And it's not particularly hard work, you know. I'm going to come out of here and I'm going to take a right because that telegraph post that is next to my lorry bothers me. So I think I'm going to go out here and find a roundabout and fit it round that. There you go, so get out of here. Give me a second. Something like a Lovely. So yeah, yeah, we just take it up the road, put it over, give them a bell, shut the job down, and let's be done for the day. What time is it? Two o'clock. So I was on site at. Um, I left the yard at say about nine ish. That's five hours. That's quite long. A job should really only be four hours. But then I was on site for two hours waiting to pick it up, which hopefully I'll get the English for hour four. And from here to up, here back to base has got to be about an hour. So, yeah, me done for the day. Having a bit of exercise, maybe videos. Looking forward to the weekend and looking forward to getting up at half past three on Monday to go to prison. I'm off to uh, Water Under Edge in the process of taking care taking money.